For anyone out there thinking that this is turning into a drama channel, let me know how many people talk about James Charles drama and include neuroscience and psychology. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. But before I jump into this whole topic, I want to send a huge thank you to all of you who went over and followed me on Instagram. As you all know, I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers so I can get that dang swipe up feature and we are halfway there we have gotten 5,000 followers and I promised you a little bit of a song so let's do this oh we're halfway there oh ho, living on a prayer Tristan Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. You're welcome. <laughs> but anyways, this video was actually inspired by my girl, Ashley Kyle. If you don't follow her, go check out her channel and go subscribe to her. She keeps up with all the beauty guru tea going on. That's why I go to get my little sips. And uh, yeah, um, James Charles has had a lot, a lot of drama this last year in 2018. And there's some things that I wanna talk about that can help you out with your own mental health. Um, because I'm gonna explain why why this might be happening and it might be happening to you too. So first, let me introduce you to this guy. This is Dr. Daniel J. Siegel. So he is a neuroscientist and I believe he's a psychologist as well, but he does a lot of work studying the prefrontal cortex and brain development, especially with uh, young people like childhood brain development, teenage brain development, and so on, all right? and. He focuses on the prefrontal cortex, which is this part of the brain. The prefrontal cortex is what separates us from the rest of the animals, all right? It gives us so many different abilities that brought us to the top of the food chain. So something I often show my clients is the Daniel Siegel hand model. So join me real quick. Put your hand up, all right? Now fold your thumb over, okay? So this is your amygdala. This is your hippocampus, all right? Amygdala, that's the fight, flight, or freeze. Hippocampus, that stores your memories and all that. Now fold your fingers over these two middle fingernails, that is your prefrontal cortex. So this is kind of a accurate model of your brain, okay? You get brain stem, you get the spine, all that stuff. All right, put your fist down, okay? But anyways, I just want you to remember that. And it's important to kind of like, I don't know. Well, for me it is, it helps me to visualize what my brain actually looks like and what parts of my brain are doing what, okay? Well, Daniel Siegel, he breaks down the prefrontal cortex to having nine major functions, but for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to be highlighting about three of them, okay? But I'm gonna use this to tie into specific examples of James Charles' drama, but it's important for all of us to understand this. So the prefrontal cortex does not fully develop until you are in your mid to late 20s. Some studies actually show that the prefrontal cortex doesn't fully develop in men until their early 30s. So you hear that, ladies? You might fully develop faster than men, all right? So a lot of young people are going to struggle with this, but I know many, many, many adults that struggle with prefrontal cortex function, all right? And I know I might get some James Charles stands coming up in my video saying, quit talking crap about James Charles prefrontal cortex. Hey, I'm just talking science. All right, so the first function of the prefrontal cortex that we're gonna talk about is emotional regulation, okay? So somebody with good prefrontal cortex function and emotional regulation, they are able to get back to center quicker, right? So if they get angry, if they get upset, they come back down, they calm down, okay? So one of the uh, pieces of drama that James Charles got involved in earlier this year was when Marlena Stell, AKA Makeup Geek, was uh, talking about how she's working with Netflix on some kind of, you know, uh, makeup line documentary. James Charles lost it and he went on Twitter and he's like, oh my God, they should be doing this with me and da 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 da, right? Like he flew off the handle and it's like, yo, you need to calm down. And I'm sure a bunch of you can give me many other examples. I'm just trying to do one example per function. But people with poor emotional regulations, they don't just get kind of angry, they get furious. So if you think about teenagers, if you think about your kids, they, they get really, really emotional, okay? But this isn't just with anger. This can also be happiness, too. Like, young kids, they get really excited over some really dumb stuff, okay? Part of this is because they get extra bursts of dopamine when they're under the age of about 12 or 13. But this explains why some younger people, like James Charles, get highly emotional. But... 
the emotional regulation doesn't quite explain what he's doing on Twitter. Well, another function of the beautiful prefrontal cortex is something called impulse control, okay? Impulse control comes from the prefrontal cortex. That is your pause button. That gives you the ability to stop and say, should I tweet this out? So those of you know, over <laughs> during the holidays on Christmas, he said all he wanted for Christmas was a little bit of D. So come on, James, oh, the impulse control. But again, this video isn't necessarily about James Charles. So many people like, open up Twitter right now and ask yourself how many of those people have poor impulse control? Like you're sitting there like, what on earth motivated you to tweet that out? I was actually, <laughs> I was actually talking with Ashley Kyle and DMs. I'm like, why do people think that they need to tweet out every thought that comes through their brain? You know what I mean? But this is why we need to improve our prefrontal cortex function. So the last thing we'll talk about is self-awareness. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for self-awareness. And to discuss and give an example of self-awareness, I'm gonna show you this clip after James Charles released his rendition of Ariana Grande, God is a Woman. I was in a really annoying mood today and to come back to that and to see so much negativity, like why? Because you need thumbs up that badly on your comment because you're desperate and you have nothing else to do with your life. Be better, bitch. Like, I thought we all learned the lesson. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. We're three. So, yeah, people who are lacking self-awareness get very, very defensive. They don't see what other people see. This is why I always tell you guys to keep people around who tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. Because so many of us lack self-awareness, so we need other people to call us out on our BS. But when I did my video about uh, Tristan Paredes, like James Charles kind of understood the criticism and he actually reached out to Tristan and they did a collab together where he did some vocal coaching and things like that. But young people often get defensive and they don't realize what they're doing. They're not seeing what everybody else is seeing, okay? So one of the main, main, main functions of the prefrontal cortex, the part of us that separates us from other animals is this logical decision making, okay? So when you think about things like emotional regulation, impulse control, self-awareness, if you are lacking in those areas, are you really able to make logical decisions? Now that we understand how the brain works and how the maturity of the brain works, now it explains some of these tweets that go out. Now it explains some of the decisions that are, that are being made. So I hope this helps you understand some of your own behavior, but I hope it also helps you understand some of these young YouTubers or young uh, social media influencers who are rising to fame, right? You start to understand, like when you understand how the brain works, it makes more sense. Now, is it an excuse for bad behavior? Hell no, it's not. One of the reasons I make these videos and make this channel is because once I educate you about something, now it's your responsibility to do something about it. So, a lot of you are like, oh man, this guy, Chris, he's always talking about mindfulness, meditation, mindfulness, meditation, and here's why. It has been scientifically proven that meditation is like doing a bicep curl for your prefrontal cortex. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Now, when we do that, and some of you maybe notice that, there'll be thoughts, emotions, or sensations, but we don't get lost in them. We bring our attention back. And every time we do that, guess what we're doing to our brain? We're strengthening the muscles in the brain every time. It's a gym workout for the brain. If you meditate for five to 10 minutes a day, you are strengthening your prefrontal cortex. This is part of the reason why they're teaching children and teenagers to meditate because it starts to help with their emotional regulation and their impulse control, their logical decision-making. It helps them become more self-aware. So if you would like to start meditating, go download an app. One of my favorite apps is actually uh, the Calm app who I'm officially partnered with. So I always include an affiliate link down in the description below. I absolutely love Calm. They have meditation for stress, for anxiety. I know a lot of you struggle with sleep. They have some sleep meditations. They also do daily meditation, so it's always different every single day. So if you would like to check out Calm, go ahead and click on the link down below, all right? But anyways, let me know if you can relate to some of these things that I'm talking about when it comes to impulse control, emotional regulation, self-awareness, logical decision-making, and all of that, all right? And I, I'm thinking about making this a series where I can kind of use examples and discuss some more functions of the brain and what might be going on. So if you have anybody else who want me to, you know,
know, kind of look at, leave comments down below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody over on Patreon who is supporting the channel. We got some new names up here and I got some really cool stuff coming up for patrons in 2019. So if you'd like to join, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.